Katrina. Welcome to day 127 of the orbit. I think that I mentioned in a previous video that I um, was thinking about bringing you guys to the lab that I work in, and this is it. And it's really late, so no one's around. And um, ooh, I hope that my computer's okay. But I want to show you what I get to work with. So um, this is blink equipment, just uh, designed by. Craig Evinger of Stony Brook University, and yeah, uh, not this particular one. I mean, it was based off what he built. And basically, what it is is you put on electrodes and you can measure your blinking. And in my study, I have to look at that, so I get to use that and test in that very tiny room using this. Fabulous equipment. And this is the testing room. You know, for experiments, they want to keep, you know, very good control of the environment because you don't want any variables to come in and mess up all of your data in your experiment. You know, you want everything to be consistent except for that experimental variable. So, Everyone gets tested in this room, sitting in this chair, and they have their blink equipment on, and it looks like this. There's like a little lamp in the corner. And then this would be on, and then things go on that I will not tell you about, because I love you, but I can't talk about my master's thesis before it's finished. Um. This is a really cool lab just because my mentor does a lot of work with turtles and these are so interesting look, looking, these things. They're models of turtle brains. They look really weird. Those are turtle brains, that's what they look like. Not that big, of course. Yeah, and then this is my drawer right there. It's empty right now. I need to fill it with things. And uh, this is ooh, fun signs. Approved laboratory coats are to be worn in this room in the presence of animals. Notice absolutely no pesticides spraying in this room. Also, down there it says no smoking. You do not smoke in labs. Here's some fun comics. This is one comic. I don't know if that breaks copyright laws. A comic and it says uh, there's a guy laying on a couch and it's like face your demons and this one says take a pill and it says good shrink bad shrink so guess which one guess whose side I'm on yeah I mean that's really all I have to show you about the lab it's your typical crazy lab fire blanket over there by the way, I'm carrying my laptop around, okay? What else? What else? Mm. This is fun. For this refrigerator, it says food only, no chemicals. Um, I like how the sign is like taped on top of it. And, uh, oh gosh, what else? These are the electrodes. So, it's okay. These are what go on a, p a person's face. So this one right here, these actually, wait, 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 wait. Why is there so many? Oh, well, that's why. Because there is too many. One second. I accidentally got four electrodes. Ah! Mm, I don't think I'm going to edit this. You're going to see me in action. Okay, so, this is in the wrong spot. Somebody messed that up. Okay, so these are electrodes, and the way that it works is a person will clean their left eye, and this one goes right in the middle. This one goes right under the eye, and then this one goes right outside of the eye. 
and I use a special cream. I like dip it into electrode cream and I tape it onto somebody's face. I'll look over here. This is the ground electrode. And no, it's not like a crazy, I get electrocuted or somebody gets electrocuted. That's not how it works. It's called an electrode because it measures electrical ac ac activity. It measures activity, your muscle movement. So they're called electrodes. And it's going to be fun touching other people's faces. <laughs> but, you know, do what you have to. But I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, is this how you ever imagined the university lab to look like? Because I didn't. I imagined, like, pristine, with the lab coats, and everything's perfect. As you can see, this lab is not so, although many, much, tons of good research happens in this lab. So, it's really exciting. I start my study tomorrow, I start running people, and see what happens, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.